Across the country, there is a rising issue facing us. That issue is the treatment of young referees in grassroots football. Too many people think it is okay to abuse or intimidate the referee, making the game less enjoyable and safe for everyone involved. More and more young referees have felt too intimidated to return back to their job. This sort of behaviour is completely unacceptable and needs to change. We are here at Maple Durham Playing Fields, the home ground of Caversham Trance. Over 500 children are part of this club and it is where Fran Kirby for Chelsea started off her career as a football player. The chairwoman of Caversham Trance, Claire Daly, and the board involved has set up a Respect the Ref campaign and I want to ask her a few questions about this campaign. I'm Claire Daly and I am the first chairwoman of Caversham Trent. I've been involved with Trent for the past 15 years with my children playing football. I've also got my level one where I help out with the under 15s and do the admin for that too. Caversham Trent was founded in 1988. Um, a young lad called Trent Whitehouse was unfortunately knifed to death as he was trying to intervene, uh, be peacemaker in a fight. Um, his friends wanted to do something in his name, so that's how Caversham Trents came about. And Caversham Trents is all about, you know, looking after our, our young children and so they're safe in, a, in an environment. Back in 2022, around 300 games in Merseyside were cancelled as a stance against the abuse referees received. In the same weekend, Jurgen Klopp, the manager of Liverpool, was sent off for intimidating and abusing the referee. This begs us to ask the question, is the abuse heavily influenced by our role models? Here are a few referees to help us answer this question. My name is Thomas Gould, I'm 17 and I've been a referee for four years. I'm Joseph Gregory, I'm 16 and I've been refereeing for two years. I'm Ryan Ryan Cheeseman, aged 15 and I've been a referee for two months. Hi, I'm Alice and I'm 15 and I've been refereeing for less than a year. Uh, so the reason I decided to become a referee was because of mainly the pay um, that is. It's a very good paying job compared to most of, the, most of the other jobs that I could get. And also I thought that it would develop my uh, confidence skills, which is essential for um, when I become older and start working proper jobs. I decided to become a referee because it's a new angle of enjoying football and just getting involved in different sort of action. I decided to become a referee because my club was in a low demand of referees and I thought I could make a bit of extra money on the side. I decided to become a referee because I saw a lot of male referees in the game and I thought, you know, I wanted to see more women in the game and be able to inspire younger girls as well. I think the, the, the behaviour and abuse towards me is certainly inspired by uh, what people have seen on TV in, in the football games, especially in the Premier League. Um, it's so normalised to... Uh, uh, argue and abuse the referee. I think the coaches may get a bit of it off of the uh, Premier League or stuff on TV, but you just, as a referee, you have to show authority to them and say that you're the boss and that's that. I do think it comes from the Premier League and everything we see on TV because, again, I'm, I'm just a new referee and, and I'm not really experienced with all this stuff, so if people try and uh, argue with me like they do on TV. I, I don't think I'll be able to handle it as well, so it's not a good decision, I think, to argue with young referees. Becoming a referee has definitely changed the way I behave because you learn that it's not always easy and, you know, it's the referee is probably just as nervous, is just as nervous as probably you are going into a big game. So I just think it makes you put things into perspective and makes you think about what you say to a referee before you say it. Caversham Trent is a club that is built on respect and kindness. Claire wants football to be a kind of therapy to children and wants everyone to feel safe while still enjoying themselves. Trent Whitehouse was killed after trying to intervene in a fight down in Caversham. He was stabbed to death and his friends in honour of him decided to set up this club. This is why it is so important that Caversham Trent is doing this campaign because it backs up the morals Caversham Trent is built on. I think it's important for a club like Caversham Trent to run a Respect the Ref campaign because football should be inclusive and everyone should be able to play. 
I've, for instance, have played since the age of 10 at this club, and I know people that have played since they were about five. And coming up through the age groups, you just want to be able to enjoy your football and enjoy the, the beautiful game, really, and abusing anyone, especially the ref. Um, just it, it takes something away from that. Um, and I believe that everyone on the pitch should be enjoying the football and just there to have a good time. So it's really important that the club have my back in situations like that because it means that I'm not just fighting against the coaches or the, the opposition club on my own and it shows that I do have support with me. It's important to cap for Captain Trent to support their referees as it will make them feel safer, make the referees feel safer, more, invite more referees to join and it'll, it could over help the club grow in many ways. For us, um, with this Respect the Ref campaign, I think it's important that we are there to protect our young referees. I think it's a nationwide issue and we don't want to lose our young referees, so we need to safeguard them and be there to support them along. So I hope look, many other clubs kind of follow route and do the same. For Respect the Ref campaign, we will have posters uh, around by the pitches. Uh, we will speak to our coaches and we want them to speak to the opposition and to let them know that we don't tolerate any bad behaviour towards any of our young referees. I have experienced forms of abuse and intimidation while refereeing. I've refed over 50 games and of them, about three of them, I've felt intimidated or abused. Um, these mainly came from me making a, a maybe a decision that the other team didn't view with or that in hindsight uh, was controversial. And then after that, it seemed like as if I couldn't do anything right. And then the players were on my back, the coaches were on my back. Um, and it just, it wasn't a positive environment to be in. I have experienced some intimidation on a few occasions. Uh, one being where they've uh, called me names, uh, I won't say on camera, but um, uh, it's been dealt with appropriately and nothing has occurred from it. I've experienced some intimidation and abuse while I've been refereeing. Uh, for example, um, once I gave a penalty to the opposing side and the manager rushed onto the pitch and confronted me and called me like called me a bad referee and I made a wrong and that I made a wrong decision. I haven't really experienced any abuse because I'm quite lucky in the sense that I coach younger teams, um, younger girls teams where the coaches are very respectful and usually they keep all the parents under control as well. So yeah, not really, no. I always get nervous before refereeing because I don't want to make the wrong decisions or, you know, because I go back to the same club, I don't want to, you know, make them think oh, I'm a bad referee thing. So it's, I just find it a bit uh, frustrating with if there's adults who are um, intimidating young refs because it's meant to be a fun game, it's a kid's game, so I just think it's a bit out of order. Millie Hayhurst, age 18 producer of this documentary and I was a referee for two years with Couch and Trance. I was passionate about doing this documentary because during the two years that I was refereeing I received a lot of abuse which eventually made me quit due to the stress and the toll it had on my mental health. Ultimately everybody including parents, coaches and players need to understand that without a referee there is no game. On the wall of the Trent's clubhouse, there is a plaque inscribed with a poem written by one of Trent Whitehouse's friends. A poignant reminder that the club was founded to promote respect and harmony and stand against all forms of aggression and violence. Some fools think it's cool to carry a knife. Yours or theirs, it's a waste of life. You carry a knife just like your mate, it's so much harder to negotiate. You both lose all you've ever planned in one mad moment that gets out of hand. You could take so much in a moment of haste, grieving family, friends, it's such a waste. Every night asleep under your quilt, could you really live with that guilt? The loving memory of Trent.